we're going to start breaking it down. I'm going to show you six of the most used moves with teens first. This is called flat behind the back to the other hand. And now we're going to try it with the other hand. Okay? Grab the tin from the top and raise your arm to above shoulder level, releasing the tin as it drops flat into your opposite hand. Be sure to rotate your shoulders and body as you prepare to catch the tin, turning your shoulders away from the tin while maintaining eye contact. Okay, this next move is called flat behind the neck. Left on the tin, right behind the neck, throw and catch. Now we're going to try with the other side. Right on the tin, left behind the neck. Throw and catch. Keeping your eyes on the tin at all times, grab the tin from the top and raise your arm to head level as you simultaneously position your opposite hand behind your neck. Release the tin softly, allowing it to land in the opposite hand as you bring the tin around your neck. Watch Christian's eyes as they never leave the tin. This move is called Team Spin. I'm doing my right, left. The tin spin is one of the more useful moves in working flare. As you hold the tin in your hand, set the tin into rotation as you clear your fingers away from its path, allowing the tin to rotate while sitting on the heel of your palm. The area of the hand that Christian is pointing to is the exact spot where the tin will be spinning on. Set the tin into position, then spin the tin flat on the palm of your hand. This move is harder than it looks, but very easy to practice, so keep a tin handy. Remember, the secret is to open your palm flat so that the tin can spin without hitting your fingers. Okay, this is what we call half spin. It looks just like the full spin, but you only spin halfway. I'm going to do it with my right, and now we're going to go with my left. The half spin is a simple variation of the tin spin, with the exception that the tin is only rotating halfway around the center of your palm. This next move is called swap behind the back. You're going to grab it with your left, you're going to come around behind your back, change hands, and come up. I'm going to show you one more time, a little bit faster. I put your right, change hands, come up. This is one of the most fundamental moves in working flare. It makes for a great in-between move and will also come in handy later with multiple objects. It is simply a flashy way of freeing up a hand, taking the tin around your back as you exchange the tin from one hand to another. As you become better at this, you will notice the tin smoothly transitioning from one hand to another. But for now, practice placing the tin firmly into the other hand. This is a very common move. It's called exchange behind the back to another hand. I'm going to grab it with my right, behind the back, to my left. My left, behind the back, to my right. Here is yet another variation to switching a tin from hand to hand. In this exchange, you will bring the tin behind your back as you toss the tin just above the opposite shoulder. The tin will make one full rotation as it meets the opposite arm. You will notice that at first, you will be throwing the tin away from your body, causing yourself to move in order to meet the tin, which just means that you need to use this exercise that Christian is demonstrating to keep the tin close to your body. So instead of tossing the tin out or away, practice throwing the tin up. Use the momentum of your arm to toss the tin above your head as a slight flick in the wrist rotates the tin, allowing it to drop flat into your hand. Once you've mastered the move, use this exercise as daily practice.